friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to see one more question on case study based questions and this question is taken from the linear equations in two variables friends this is the part number 32 and previously we have uploaded 31 parts and the all these 31 parts you will get in the playlist go to the playlist and watch all the 31 videos so that you will get an idea that which type of questions are being asked as the case study based questions and how to deal with such questions now let us move to today's question friends before going to the question just see today's thought an arrow can only be shot by pulling it backward when life is dragging you back with difficulties it means it is going to launch you into something great so just focus and keep aiming so always remember just focus and keep aiming now let us see the today's question so friends the today's question is that ajit and sumit played a chess game amit play with white and Sumit played with black pieces. At the end of their game, the position was on the board as shown in the diagram. Later Ajay and Vijay played the game with the available position answer the following question. Friends, Ajit and Sumit both started playing a chess game. After some time, there was a position left on the chase board as shown in the figure and later on Ajay and Vijay joined the game and played this remaining part and you have to answer the following question. So the first question is on the screen that Ajay moved the queen and its movement is represented by x plus y is equal to 5 whereas Vijay moved his queen and its movement is represented by 2x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Will the queens be able to meet at one point? So friends, if we draw or plot the graph of these two equations, and if that two lines intersect each other, then definitely the queens will meet at one point. And the condition to check whether these two queens will meet at one point is that a1 upon a2 should not be equal to b1 upon b2. a1 upon a2 is a ratio of the coefficients of x and b1 upon b2 is the ratio of the coefficients of y. And so here the ratio of the coefficient of x will be 1 upon 2. So it will be 1 upon 2 and the ratio of the coefficients of y that will be 1 upon minus 1 so that will be minus 1 and both these ratios are not equal and therefore both the queens will meet at one point if their movement is represented by x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0 so the correct option will be yes that both the queens will meet at one point. Now move to the second point. What condition will be used to state that both queens will meet at one point? So what condition we have used? We have used that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. So here the option A will be the correct option. Now move to the third question. White rook moves on the line x is equal to 3 and black rook moves on the line x is equal to 5 will the rooks meet at one point friends this is very simple question that x and y are the two x's and x is equal to 3 that line will be parallel to y axis and x axis x is equal to 5 that line will also be parallel to y axis both the lines will be parallel to y axis it means that these both lines will also be parallel to each other and therefore that two 
groups will never meet each other at one point and therefore the option b is the correct option no the rooks will not meet at one point because both the lines will be the parallel lines now see the next question white rooks white rook moves on the line x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 and black twin moves on the line x plus y is equal to 6 x plus y is equal to 6 will the rook and queen meet at one point x is equal to 5 it means what the line will be parallel to y axis correct the line will be parallel to y axis and x plus y is equal to 6 it means that line will have some slope and when the line will have some slope it will definitely meet the line which is parallel to y axis and therefore both the rook and queen will meet at one point here you can apply the condition also that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 correct here a1 upon a2 that will be 1 upon 1 so it will be 1 and b1 upon b2 here y uh, coefficient of y will be 0 and so it will be 0 upon 1 so that will be 0 and therefore both ratios are not equal and therefore that rook and queen will meet at one point because a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 now move to the next question here is the question that if the pair of the linear equations x plus 2y is equal to 5 and 7x plus 3y is equal to 13 has unique solution then find the value of x and y here friends the two equations are given as x plus 2y is equal to 5 and another equation is given as 7x plus 3y is equal to 13 and it is said that both of these equations have unique solution both of these equations have unique solution and then we have to find the value of x and y here are the four options a b c and d and friends you have to do this write your answer through the comment box whether the a option will be correct or b option will be correct c or d option will be correct so friends here we will stop and I hope you must have enjoyed this video and if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.